Pencil of planes. Find the equation of plane passing through point P minus 2, 0, 1 and the line of intersection of two planes x plus y minus 2z equals to 6 and 2x minus y plus z equals to 2. Okay, so, so we have two planes here and always two planes, if they are not parallel, they will intersect in a line, correct? Now we need to find the equation of the third plane which passed through that line and has the point P given on it, right? Now this point is not on these planes. You can always test that out, right? If I plug in minus 2, 0 and 1, I don't get 6, right? Minus 2 and minus 2 is minus 4. And if I put here, so minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 and 1 is minus 3, not 2. So the point does not lie on these two planes. So we need to find the equation of a plane which passes through the line of intersection of the given planes and also contains the line P equals to this. Geometrically, I can, let's look into it geometrically also, right? That helps to visualize the things. So let's say these are our planes and let's say this is one plane, right? And the other plane which we are talking about is, let's say going through like this. Correct. And so we have a line on which they intersect and that is this line. That is the line of intersection between these two planes, right? And what we really need to find is the equation of the third plane. And let's say the third plane is like kind of like this. Correct. Which goes through this and it has a point on it which is given to us and let's say this is the point which the third plane has okay so that's the kind of diagram which reflects the position right now now how to solve these kinds of problems well when we have a pencil of planes then we can always write uh, the equation of that plane as a linear combinations of these two planes for example that pi 3 let's call that plane pi 3 that could be written as combination of these two x plus y minus 2z I'll take 6 on this side minus 6 plus some factor let's say lambda times 2x minus y plus z minus 2 equals to 0 so this is a linear combination of these two planes right and they have the line contained in it okay so that's kind of a new formula for most of us and uh, let me write that formula down on top of this page so that it is like known to you right so let's say the formula for a new plane will be which goes through the line of intersection let's say ax1 a1x plus b1y plus C1Z is one plane, right? Minus D1. And the other plane is A2X will be cleaner combination. Lambda times A2X plus B2Y plus C2Z plus, I mean, you can write this on this side, doesn't matter. Whatever, the variable D2, right? E equals to zero. So that is the equation of a plane uh, which goes through the line of intersection of two planes, right? So that's that's the kind of equation. Now, since this plane also contains the point minus 2, 0, and 1, we can plug in this and find the value of lambda. So there could be many planes, right? There could be many planes which could go through this. And that is why it is called pencil of planes, right? You can think as if like a, like a book bound from here, right? And so many pages. So there could be n number of planes. But only one of them will be distinct and unique to have the given point on it, right? So we'll plug in that point and find the equation of that particular plane. So when I put minus 2, 0 and 1 for x, y, z, we can find the value of lambda. So let's say it becomes minus 2 plus 0 minus 2, z is 1, minus 6 plus 
then the times 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 this is 0 and xz is 1 minus 2 equals to 0 correct now we can add this up minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 and minus 6 is minus 10 so we get minus 10 plus lambda times minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5 minus 5 equals to 0 and from here we can solve for lambda we say minus 5 lambda equals to 10 and so lambda equals to minus 2 correct so that's the value of lambda which gives us the equation of our plane which we're looking forward to now we'll plug it in and find the equation so now the we'll plug in minus 2 here and see what the equation is so we get x plus y minus 2z minus 6 minus 2 for lambda right 2x minus y plus z minus 2 equals to 0 let's open this up x plus y minus 2z and minus 6 let's open this up so minus 4x plus 2y minus 2z and minus minus becomes plus 4 equals to 0 correct and now we can combine the terms x minus 4x is minus 3x y plus 2y is plus 3y minus 2z minus 2z is minus 4z and minus 6 plus 4 is 2 minus 2 equals to 0 so that's what we get as our equation of the plane right now there are a couple of things which I like to highlight here right a uh, few things is see, you can see that all the normal since they have a line in common right so the normal should be coplanar right so these are a few characteristics which you should understand so first is normals are coplanar now how can you prove that the normals are coplanar uh, well one way is to see whether the normals are in linear combination or not if they are in the same plane then you can write one normal as a linear combination of the other two right so so first let's see what is a normal right uh, well we've already done the question now i'm taking more time to uh, uh, teach you some more concepts right so normal one is equation one one minus two right it is one one minus two correct n2 is what n2 is 2 minus 1 1 n2 is 2 minus 1 and 1 and what did we get for n3 n3 is minus 3 3 and minus 4 right minus 3 3 and minus 4 this is n3 for us right uh, do you see that they are linear combinations or not can i write n3 in terms of n1 and n2 let's see n3 how will you get minus 3 from these if I multiply uh, well if I multiply this by minus 2 and add them up then do I get the equation what I'm trying to say is if I do minus 2 times n2 plus n1 see what do we get minus 2 times n2 minus 2 times 2 is minus 4 minus 4 plus 1 is minus 3 right minus 2 times n2 is plus 2 and plus 2 plus 1 is plus 3 correct minus 2 times 1 is minus 2 and minus 2 times minus 2 is minus 4 so it works correct so this is one test for normals to be coplanar and normals should be coplanar in this case right see because this line is common to them correct all three of them so normal to every plane is coplanar now second way to test normal is the scalar triple product i hope you remember scalar triple product right let me write here scalar triple product now what is scalar triple product scalar triple product is that if i have n1 dot n2 cross n3 right then what should it be equal to see if they are in the same plane let's say we have two normals here and third one also in the same plane right then the cross product of the two will be perpendicular to the page which will be 
perpendicular to the third normal also. So dot product should be zero. So we should get scalar triple product as zero. So if scalar triple product of the normals is zero, then also they are coplanar, right? So let's test this out also. Now I'll use matrix to find, you can do your method for you can do first, you have to do first cross product, right? And then the dot product because cross product is a vector and dot is between two vectors, correct? Okay, so, so let's do scalar triple product and see what do we get, right? So we get N1 is 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 2. N2 is 2, minus 1, 1. N3 is minus 3, 3, and minus 4, correct? Now, if I do that, I get 1 times minus 1 times minus 4 is 4, minus 3 times 1, and then this thing is minus 1 times. 2 times minus 4 is minus 8, and minus 3 times uh, minus of minus 3 times 1 is minus 3, so it becomes plus 3, and then minus 2 times 2 times 3 is 6, and minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3, so it's minus 3 here. So we get this is equals to 4 minus 3 is 1, and here we have minus 8 plus 3 is minus 5, which gives me plus 5 here, and this is 2. 3 2 times minus 2 times 6 minus 3 is 3. So 3 times 2 is 6 minus 6. Right? 1 plus 5 minus 6 is equal to 0, right? So so we, we have shown you that scalar triple product is also 0, right? I'm doing all this just to justify that this so simple method of finding the equation of a plane passing through the line of intersection of two planes is like this. Do you understand? So this is a very effective and useful method of doing things and I hope you understand and appreciate what I did here, right? So that's the that's how it could be done. And these are very good tests to show you that the example is perfect, right? Thank you.